the vote was close, real close. Take a look. The winner claiming victory by a mere 34 votes. But now Craig Russell has made history. The people of Winter Park have not elected a man of color to the city commission since the 1880s. As West Chew's Michelle Meredith reports, it's game on, which is a phrase he knows well. Craig Russell is trying to take it all in. After a super close runoff election, he's now the first man of color elected as a Winter Park City Commissioner in over a century. I was humbled. I was more than humbled to be a part of the history books. I mean, just even just saying that still blows me away. I get goosebumps thinking about it, and but I'm ready to get to work. Craig Russell, also known as Coach Russell, is a football coach at Winter Park High. Does the commissioner-elect think it helped? You bet. It's a special title that means a lot to me and a lot to families. They're entrusting me with that time of their kid's life to lead them, guide them, teach them, uplift them, inspire them, discipline them, um, counsel them, to be in their life in a positive way. Russell grew up in Winter Park, lives in Winter Park, now represents Winter Park in a way that hasn't been in over 130 years. Now historians say back in 1887, not one, but two men of color were elected to the Winter Park Town Council, Walter B. Simpson and Frank R. Israel. They say that their supporters staged a march to downtown Winter Park on Election Day, and the rest is history. And we need those conversations to come to the table. Without those grassroots conversation, again, some people are being left out of the conversation. I think voters were looking to connect with somebody. I think and they connected with, with the coach. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Now, Winter Park also hit another benchmark in this election. Sheila DeCiccio was elected as the first woman to be mayor.